During a routine nightly scan of the sky, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile detected a faint moving object that stood out from the background stars. Atlas, a system built to identify potentially hazardous asteroids and comets, flagged the detection for additional observations. Follow-up measurements and orbital analyses confirmed that the object was not bound to the Sun. Instead, its trajectory was hyperbolic, meaning it would pass through the solar system only once before escaping into interstellar space. This made the object, later designated 3I Atlas, only the third confirmed interstellar visitor detected by astronomers. The first such body, Umumumumu, was discovered in 2017 and showed unusual characteristics that continue to be debated. The second, 2I Borzov, was observed in 2019 and displayed behavior more typical of comets within our solar system. Spectroscopic observations of 3I Atlas revealed the presence of carbon dioxide and water vapor, confirming that it was active even at large distances from the Sun. Orbital calculations determined that the comet would reach perihelion in late October 2025, at a distance of about 1.36 astronomical units. The closest approach to Mars was projected for early October at 0.193 AU, while the closest approach to Earth would be significantly farther, around 1.8 AU. Based on these distances, NASA and ESA reported that the comet poses no impact risk to either planet. However, inside major research institutions such as NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and Harvard's Center for Astrophysics, another story was said to be developing alongside the official announcements. The version presented to the public emphasized routine scientific observation, but according to accounts that surfaced later, some orbital analysts began noticing irregularities in the data almost from the start. When a comet is tracked over successive nights, astronomers normally refine its orbital parameters until the model converges smoothly. With 3I Atlas, the story went, the fit never quite settled. The deviations were small, well within the range of what comets sometimes display, but they persisted night after night. The usual explanation for such residuals is non-gravitational acceleration, a well-known effect in cometary dynamics. As solar radiation warms the surface, ices sublimate and vent as jets of gas, producing tiny but measurable thrusts that gradually alter the comet's trajectory. Most comets display these behaviors in irregular bursts, with activity rising and falling depending on which regions of their nuclei are illuminated. In the case of 3I Atlas, insiders allegedly describe the effect differently. The deviations appeared unusually smooth, as if a constant and steady hand were nudging the comet along its way. The claim that circulated quietly in these circles was simple but provocative. It looked guided. No peer-reviewed study has confirmed this interpretation, and the available data sets are fully consistent with natural explanations. Still, the suggestion explains why some observers have hinted that the excitement of July gave way to a more poshious, even uneasy mood as August began. Around that time, references to so-called secret models began to appear in online discussions and speculative reporting. The claim was that NASA's JPL and Harvard's Center for Astrophysics were running supercomputer simulations to test various scenarios of non-gravitational forces acting on 3I Atlas. Such work would not be unusual. Mission planners and astronomers routinely run ensembles of orbital fits to assess the possible ranges of trajectories when uncertainties remain. What made the rumor unsettling was the alleged outcome. 
Some of these runs, the leaks suggested, produced scenarios in which 3i Atlas passed far closer to Mars than the official orbit indicated, even intersecting its path under specific assumptions. None of these scenarios appeared in public releases, and there is no evidence that they were formally endorsed. Nevertheless, the idea of a quiet panic inside research institutions has proven difficult to dispel, especially given how sensitive planetary defense agencies are to even the smallest deviations in orbital predictions. The most dramatic claim of all surfaced in mid-August. On August 14, according to anonymous accounts, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was tasked with turning its instruments toward the inbound comet. Normally dedicated to mapping the Martian surface in exquisite detail, the spacecraft also carries instruments capable of spectroscopic analysis. The story went that when it observed 3i Atlas, the orbiter recorded a sudden flare of brightness that repeated at precise intervals, once every 17 minutes. The bursts were allegedly rich in carbon dioxide, as if the comet were venting in a controlled, pulsating pattern. Ordinary comets do produce jets, but their behavior is chaotic, tied to the rotation of irregularly shaped nuclei, local surface features, and varying exposure to sunlight. A steady rhythmic venting cycle with such regular timing has never been observed in natural cometary physics. No dataset has been released to confirm this event, and no peer-reviewed study has even mentioned it. Yet the very suggestion that an interstellar body might display something akin to a mechanical pulse has fueled speculation that 3i Atlas was somehow maneuvering. By mid-September, the speculative narrative deepened further. Reports circulated about radar observations carried out by the Deep Space Network, the globe-spanning system of radio antennas that regularly tracks spacecraft and occasionally characterizes comets and asteroids. In standard practice, a radar ping produces an echo, whose strength and spread reveal something about the surface properties of the target. Fluffy, porous comets scatter the return signal broadly, while dense, rocky asteroids produce sharper echoes. According to the unverified claims, the echoes from 3i Atlas fell into the latter category. Sharp, hard, and reflective, more like a metallic surface than a frozen one. If this were true, the implications would be stark. Analysts supposedly calculated a diameter of over a kilometer and a mass measured in billions of tons. An object of that density and size striking Mars would release energy many orders of magnitude greater than the largest nuclear weapons ever detonated, carving a crater kilometers across and launching enough dust into the atmosphere to affect global climate. No official reports have confirmed such results, and the available scientific literature continues to describe 3i Atlas as a volatile, rich comet, not a metallic projectile. Still, the rumor of radar echoes consistent with metal has lingered. Impossible to dismiss entirely, but equally impossible to substantiate. Perhaps the most unusual of all the stories involved alleged sightings by the European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter. Observers claimed the spacecraft's instruments recorded three faint points of light near the comet. Initially, these were assumed to be fragments shed from the main nucleus, a common occurrence among active comets. But according to the accounts, the points of light did not behave like drifting debris. Instead, they appeared to maintain fixed positions relative to one another, forming a triangular pattern that persisted as the comet moved. Such behavior would be extraordinary. Cometary fragments are influenced by gas pressure, solar wind, and gravitational interactions. They rarely hold stable configurations for long. The suggestion that three companion objects could travel in a locked formation around an interstellar comet strains natural explanations. No images have been publicly released, and ESA has provided no official confirmation. Yet, the Three Escorts story has proven resilient, inspiring speculation that 3i Atlas might not be a solitary traveler, but part of a larger, coordinated convoy. Amid these circulating accounts came yet another layer of intrigue, reports of emergency meetings among global space agencies. According to the speculative versions, representatives of NASA, ESA, Roscosmos, CNSA, and JAXA allegedly convened on September 19th in a closed-door session to discuss possible responses. The agenda, if it existed, was said to include two main options. 
passive observation, or active intervention. Some argued that humanity should gather data and wait, minimizing the risk of misinterpreting a natural object as a threat. Others, particularly from military backgrounds, reportedly favored exploring interception strategies, even though deflecting or destroying an interstellar object of such mass would be well beyond current technology. There is no verifiable record of such a meeting, and leaders have issued no acknowledgments of any emergency summit. Yet the narrative has captured attention. Scientists advocating caution, strategists urging preparation, and the first hypothetical image of all major spacefaring nations united against a potential threat from beyond. Throughout all of this, the official facts remain consistent. Based on repeated observations from ground and space, the trajectory of 3i Atlas is well constrained. The comet will miss Mars by nearly 30 million kilometers, will not approach Earth any closer than 1.8 AU, and will continue on a hyperbolic course back into interstellar space. Peer-reviewed studies describe it as a comet with unusual but natural properties, rich in carbon dioxide, with dust behavior distinct from most solar system examples. And yet, the alternative narrative, rhythmic pulses, metallic echoes, triangular escorts, secret summits, continues to circulate in the margins. Each element remains unconfirmed. They may represent misunderstandings of noisy data, speculative embellishments, or simple fabrications. But the possibility that even one might contain a grain of truth keeps the story alive. Could 3i Atlas be more than a comet, a probe, a vessel, or some fragment of interstellar technology? The absence of confirmation does not remove the question, it only postpones the answer. For planetary scientists, the comet's close approach in October 2025 represents an unprecedented observational opportunity, the chance to measure the chemistry, dust, and dynamics of a body from another star system. For those captivated by the leaks, however, the event has become something else, a countdown to revelation or a mystery destined to remain unresolved. Two parallel stories continue to unfold, one written in data tables and orbital ephemerids, the other in whispers of maneuvering signals and metallic cores. Between them lies an unsettling question. What if even one of the extraordinary claims is not entirely wrong? Until the comet passes and the observations are complete, the world watches, measures, and wonders.